everyone. Welcome to CC Livermore tutor videos for cycle three, week 16. This one is, I titled it gas pressure. Um, we are not doing the experiment as exactly as in the book. We're going to be doing it with the balloon um, instead of the straw, um, clay, and dish soap. Not that that one didn't work well. This one just has a stronger reaction and seems a lot simpler. So this is what we're doing. If you're from another campus, that way you know. Um, okay, what do we have? <coughs> Sorry, girls. All right, so one thing I wanna tell you is this experiment sort of sets us up for the iodine experiment, surprisingly, because what we're gonna be looking at here is that um, combining two, two items can produce reactions. Sometimes you might not get anything, sometimes you do get something, and in this case you get something. And in the case of the iodine experiment, we're looking for a reaction. So talking about how combining two substances can sometimes create a chemical reaction, and that's part of chemistry, uh, is good timing, focusing a little bit longer on it this week because you'll reference it again when we do the iodine experiment. Okay, so, I'm so sorry, I am not feeling well still. All right, so what do we do here? A half a cup of water and a half a cup of vinegar, it does not need to be precise, uh, can go into the jo um, bottle. The students will pair up for this experiment, so two students will work with one bottle. Okay, so here we go, half a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar in here. Now you'll have water in a jug and the vinegar in a jug, so your parents can operate a couple of different stations. And ladies, if you remember from week 13, I had those small pouring cups. We'll have a few of those set out. And even while you're teeing up the experiment, if you wanted to have parents um, start pouring, like at a vinegar station and at a water station, start pouring in vinegar into some of those half a cups, they'll be four at each station. That way they can go through the students a little bit faster because there'll be four bottles because your students will pair up. Okay, did that make sense? I hope so. Because girls, I am not well today. Okay, um, all right, insert the funnel into the balloon. Okay, so this is where you'll use the funnel into the baking soda station. I'll have a smaller funnel for you, but this is what I have handy. So put this over put the balloon over the end of the funnel securely so that the baking soda does not fall out. And then we'll take one, one teaspoon of baking soda and pour it down the funnel so it will go into the balloon. And you'll need to probably tap it a little bit to make sure it all gets down there. Just look in the funnel and make sure it's all down. Okay. Now, here's the fun part. Okay, so you just want to, to carefully, keeping this hanging down, cover the mouth of the bottle with the balloon, making sure the baking soda stays inside the balloon and doesn't start causing the chemical reaction. Then turn it up and hold it and you're gonna see right away, it's gonna start blowing up the balloon. Some of the liquid will go inside the balloon so holding it's a good idea. Making sure each student really has the balloon on the mouth of the bottle securely will be helpful. Otherwise, you know, you guys will get wet. And um, hopefully that can be, you know, relatively laughed off. I mean, it's nothing, it's just stinky vinegar. But, all right, so that is our really awesome experiment. We talked at the tutor meeting about what's occurring here. Um, the chemical reaction is creating a gas and there's already, the bottle's already full. The bottle is full of baking of vinegar and water and air. So when you create a closed environment and a chemical reaction happens and produces something else, it needs to make space for it. So the gas um, and the air shoot up into the balloon. That was fun, right? Okay, I think that's it. Um, talk about observations and, I don't know, if you shake it, will it, do a little bit more, maybe. Okay, so have fun with this. 
When you are done, you can toss the entire thing into the garbage, but please, actually, please do make sure you empty the bottles first. So empty the bottle. Did you hear that? Empty the bottle into the sink. It's fine to go right down the drain and um, toss the rest of it in the trash. We have enough supplies for a pair, for each pair of students. All right, have a good week and I'll see you Friday.